Hi, I'm James. Uh, I'm here with Mike today because he's here. And so I want to do a vlog and they want to see me do a vlog. Charlie's swearing in the background, but that's fine. Since I last did a video, I've got my book, The Fault in Our Stars, which I've read several times. And I got the audiobook, which came with a ticket, a ticket for the hectic glow. One of the cool no. things that I got was I bought Destroy All Humans, which was a great game from when I was like in middle school. Um, basically, you play as an alien and you kill everybody. Good middle school material. So, I want to know, Mike, what was your favorite childhood game right around middle school? Actually, believe it or not, I was somewhat nostalgic the moment you grabbed that Destroy All Humans box because the moment I noticed it was Destroy All Humans, I played Destroy All Humans too. That was a good game. Sorry. I don't remember what I did back mostly. In, oh no, middle school was when I started playing World of Warcraft. That's, that's World of Warcraft. I played a little bit in middle school, but I played um, Tony Hawk Underground. Oh. And hey, while we're on the talk of, uh, of video games and whatnot, have you played Dead Space yet? I have not played Dead I'm Space I'm gonna yet. smack you. The only Xbox game I've played <laughs> in the past year is Destroy Humans. Okay. I haven't played anything on the Xbox. Um, okay, so by, I, by the past year, are you, are you meaning like since 2000? I mean since it, like probably December of last year. Okay. That's fine, as long as you're doing it for StarCraft. We're recording, what are you doing here? James! <laughs> I'm sorry, what's up? You bastard! Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, no! Oh, God damn it! Oh. Hey, James. Hey, what? What's the smallest muscle in a sheep's anus? I don't give a shit. Your tongue? <laughs> give me a cue star receptor. I only have a dollar. Lord. Give her money. Do it. To throw money All at I her. All I got is twenties! Throw a twenty at her, have her go. <laughs> don't go! Ah! So how's your vision right now? Because I'm... It's better than not wearing glasses. Um, I can't. Still kind of sucks. I'm gonna get a headache in about 15 seconds. Your eyes suck. So in news, uh, vlogging wise, like about me, uh, I went off caffeine. For how long? For a while now. I haven't had caffeine. Well, I mean, I have caffeine like once in a while. Like we'll go to a restaurant, I'll get a coke. Oh yeah. Like, but, but very sparingly for the past like month. That's pretty good. That's pretty okay. I, I, I've been uh, I've been off caffeine for a while. I don't even know how long. Oh, Mr. High and fucking Mighty. I'm just like, you ch You have chosen the correct path, and I am proud of you, my, my disciple. You no, know, I, uh, I actually, myself, have uh, tried weaning myself off of caffeine. I think, okay, back in ye old high school years, I was working with uh, one of my school counselors, and she was rambling on or something about uh, like her husband or one of her husband's friends getting some kind of uh, caffeine addiction which then led to which could I guess lead to Crohn's disease and uh, me to this day still being the gullible little worry word I'm like oh my god Crohn's disease so then I immediately stopped drinking like caffeine in mass quantities specifically and I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to ruin this for anybody but uh, I, the first thing I stopped drinking was Mountain Dew. I'm gonna get my Mountain Dew. Can you bring me one? To bad decisions. To bad decisions. Oh. It's good. It tastes like Crohn's disease. Also, I, I don't know what uh, Crohn's disease does entirely. <laughs> There's two things about Crohn's disease which honestly scare me about getting. Uh, one is the word disease. The other thing is Favorite European country of all time for for and there's only one right answer. Okay. Favorite European country. There's one right answer. The oh. best European country. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna go with the simple answer. Okay. Great Britain. Okay, now explain to me why you're wrong. What? <laughs> I mean, no, no. Explain to me why you think that, even though you're wrong. To be honest, I was about to say Germany. Why? Last name Faulkner. German. Uh, I honestly like uh, Great Britain or England or whatever you want to call it. Anyone with an English accent because I love the accent and they also, I mean, Dr. Joe. You know, so. <laughs> Those are fair reasons and Britain is number two in the best countries, but actually the best country is Finland. World War, was it one or two? In World War one or two, uh, the Finnish held off the Russians were invading at six to one odds. They were, they had, the Russians had like 6,000 tanks. The Finnish had like six. Like, it was ridiculous. The Finnish were running around on skis with fucking two machine guns, just like 
skiing around, shooting up people. There's one guy, not part of, not included in any of the numbers, because he wasn't part of the Finnish military, and he's credited with 700 kills. Jesus. He was known as the White Death. How many kills? 700. 700. He was a Finnish farmer. How did he get that many? By, by being, being awesome. Bastard. They sent in an, uh, an entire squad of units into the area he was supposed to be in. And he killed every single one of them. So they sent in a team of counter snipers. Literally, people who are trained to kill snipers, who have like other sniper rifles and are just going in and trying to be able to cloak a dagger, killed all of them. Finally, they just get reports of where he is, and they just carpet bomb the areas he was in. In fact, one time he got carpet bombed, like, just like, they were like, fuck it, I think he's here. And they bombed the area, and it, and it, he almost got hit, his jack was ripped to pieces, walked away fine. Are you sure he isn't, like, immortal? No, I don't know, maybe he's Rasputin. Here's what I have to say, I've got to say one of two things. One, <laughs> this guy is either the super paranoid, tapping into military radio frequencies or whatever, I don't know how easy or difficult it was to do back then in those wars. Oh, no, yeah. Or two, he's taking on these numbers with no intelligence. They send <laughs> they send a sniper team of 12 people out of after him or something. He doesn't know if there's 12, if there's two, or if there's 40. And he's just like, all right, blam, 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 <laughs> blam. I, no. All right, I think that's all of them. I think, I think we've got enough footage. That sounds good. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.